Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age 2, where I just did some inventory stuff. Gave myself the String of Pearls, which, uh, enemies drop more coin and you get plus 6 health. I gave myself the plus 18 attack, and I had that one earlier. I also have got on the, um, I put the Gauntlets of the Fallen on, and the Heavy Elven Boots. I'm not, I... I haven't actually started, today I'm going to start uploading, but at this time of recording, I'm going to be starting uploading uh, Dragon Age 2, and, uh, but the problem is my internet's out, so I'm like, well, I, uh, I don't know what to do, I'll, I'll fix it, but I'm just don't, not going to fix it right now, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's what I've got on, and I've got the mall, um... And then Meryl, I gave the rune staff instead of rune staff instead of Vir Talisan, or Tassilon. Um, I wish it would tell you something cool about them, but it doesn't. They, these things have names, and I don't know uh, why. You know, what, you know what I mean. Um, but it does um, thirteen electricity damage. Oh no, I wanted to give her the cold one. Oh, plus 12%. Alright, or oh, five minutes. Uh, mm, maybe I'll do that, the mana regeneration stuff. Um, and she's got vestments of the first. Uh, oh, and she, wait. Um, she, ah. I don't know what I'm, okay. This is Fenris, and he's got Lethendralis, uh, which is, I don't know, again, what it, how, why it's named that. Um, he's got Grafted Spirit Hide, which I don't know what that is. I wish I did. And I gave him this ring. And then for Meryl, she has an amulet, plus five damage. I gave Aveline the Ring of the Magister. And she's got the Guardsman Plate and Chain. She can't use any of my old things, I guess. And she's still got these. Um. Okay. Oh, good. Everything is where it's supposed to be. Excellent. Down to recording. I'm so happy. Okay. So, I was thinking I need to remember to bring my puppy next time I go out. Gosh dang it. And I need to do some of these, probably. Uh, hmm, okay. Uh, we don't want to worry about this. Oh. Oh, okay, let's do, should we do that? One is working as a healer. Win? Win's not a great warden, I don't know. Um... I was thinking, oh, we recruited Fenris. He's staying at this place. I was gonna go do the Aveline thing, but now I'm, I'm kind of concerned about the, uh, this one. The Wayward Sun. Gallows Courtyard or Low Town Market. So let's go to the map. I wanna, I wanna change out of this. How do I, how do I change out? Oh, you gotta go to the, gotta go to the, you gotta go to one of those travel point places, don't you? Okay, let's try to not get ambushed. Please, dear heaven. Okay. Um. Fenris's mansion, jeez. Jeez, okay, let's, um. How does one change the... I want to change. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. 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 Daytime. Nighttime. Daytime. So, gallows or low town. Let's talk to the guy in the gallows. <coughs> Wait. I just choked. Um. <coughs> I probably shouldn't bring Fenris for this one, right? Because he's a ma he doesn't like mages, and we're gonna go help out mages. Oh, shoot! I've heard about the circle of magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. 
Are you certain it's wise for us to come here? Shoot! Considering who we're with. Um. Um. I don't think the Templars will be surprised to see another mage here, do you? Hmm. Maybe not. Are there many Dalish here? You're not helping. <laughs> this seems more like a prison. I wonder if it's more effective than the circle I know. Okay. I was thinking about Fenris. I was like, people are like, he's like an angry elf. And I'm like, he just seems more like a very controlled vengeancy type. But I'm kind of, I'm curious. Like, he just, I don't know. You look at him and you're like, you're, you hear him like talk and he's just like, you know, I am vengeance. And you're like, okay. But it's like, there's some, there's obviously a story going on here. How is the Imperial Circle of Magi different? Once upon a time, it was as it is here. The Chantry watched the Magisters closely for any signs of corruption or weakness. Then it changed. The Magisters were permitted to watch over their own, and Templars kept only to enforce the law. That's what Dorian says what in uh, Inquisition. What happened next was inevitable. The Magisters rule again, as his, powerful as they ever were. His markings are really cool looking. Oh, the Magister's so terrible. You're saying the same thing could happen here? If the mages were permitted to be their own watchers? Of course. It is too easy for a mage to resort to blood magic if they feel the need is great enough. A mage can desire power, justice, revenge, protection. Any cause will do. And then they are lost. Hmm. You're saying that locking mages up is better? All I am saying is the Imperium offers no answer. All that Andraste did long ago to end the tyranny of magic has been undone. She freed our people as well, but it was your Chantry that ended that. And who enslaved us in the first place? Don't be naive. Oh, corrupt, interesting. Say, and mages have power enough already. Interesting. You said the Chantry used to watch the Magisters. I didn't know if they heard him and Meryl would talk. You must remember that the attitude towards magic is different in Tevinta. Magisters came from wealthy families, bloodlines that had nurtured magical talent for countless generations. The Chantry was not trying to control poor peasants, but the scions of the greatest houses in the Imperium. I thought the Magisters had been thrown down by the Chantry. On the contrary, Andraste never defeated the Imperium. A great army conquered hmm. the south, but not the north. The Magisters eventually surrendered to the Chantry. Okay. But they did so on their terms. I... They kept their influence. Interesting. Thus, they reclaimed what they lost over the centuries. Some battles are lost by inches. He seems very wise, like, in a way. Like, I don't know like how to say it. Like, I don't know. Experienced, maybe. Like, he's not, he's not just some guy who's like, I'm angry. He's like... He's learned a lot. He's well spoken and everything, so. You talk about the Magisters as if they are all evil. I have no doubt that some are good and noble men. And he doesn't seem to, to be blind. Temptation. You know what I mean? But how many temptations do you wish to offer a man before he will give in? Blood magic is everywhere in Tevinter, from the lowliest apprentice up to the Archon himself. You can't have seen this for yourself. <laughs> Daenerys talked about it often. Of course, they say it's forbidden. Right. Behind the smiles and closed doors, however, it's a different matter. To be a magister in Tevinter is to be glorious. To be a powerful magister in Tevinter, that is worth any price. Yeesh. Why did I lose? I lost one of the options that was here. I don't remember what it was. Let's see. Hang on. You said the ch You must remember. Magister, the Chantry was not trying to control oh, poor okay. peasants, See, yeah, yeah, yeah. but the scions of the greatest houses in the Imperium. Uh... <laughs> I don't want to make him angry or a rival or anything. Um, but it, it's again, the circle doesn't really work, you know. Something is necessary, but maybe not the circle. You know what I mean? Let's see. According to everything I've seen. 
The circle can't control me. Yeah, this is, that's what it felt like it was going to be. what is the alternative? I don't know. Freedom is a noble ideal, but I see no oppression here. I see fear and danger. But enough. I'm sure we came here for a reason. Gosh dang it! What the heck? Why? Why? I don't want to be rivals with this guy. Gosh dang it! I'm worried. I'm worried that I'm gonna like go down this rivalry path with him and I don't want to. I don't think so. I don't know. I, but I, ah. <laughs> I knew I should. I, I didn't know that this was good. this was specifically a mage area. Ah! Wait, whoa! Oh, there's tons of Templars over there. Um. Oh, they have names. Greetings, Mr. Andraste herself said magic is a curse. No, she didn't. We're lucky to have a way to combat demonic influences through the love of the Maker. This place is so dismal. Ah, I shouldn't have brought you here, Meryl. There's so many blood mages in Cope Hall. They do. This initiation ritual. I haven't slept for days. Huh? Other one. Other one. Recruits aren't allowed to speak to visitors. If you want something, talk to the knight. Okay. I'm creeped out. What initiation ritual. Are you the Templar who is pursuing the boy Fainry? Dang it! I shouldn't I have brought didn't realize him. his name was known so widely. Perhaps you know Ariane from when she was with the Dalish. Oh, hey! We don't all know each other. There are a lot of clans, you know. Are you a friend of his? Oh, I'm an idiot. Have you met him? What is he like? From his mother's description, he sounds much like any youngster we bring to the circle. Frightened of his gift, resentful at losing his freedom, convinced he is the one exception to our laws. Hardly someone you his, would wish to He looks like a nutcracker. His jaw is like. Nang, 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 nang. The only reason he's like that, you're like, hardly someone who would wish the power to murder people is mine. The only reason he's like that is because you guys scare the crap out of him. Uh, shoot, can I not back out of this? <laughs> no young boy should have to face down <laughs> It is surprising what sympathies mages evoke. I always expect people to be more wary of their powers than touched by their struggles. Not all of us are. Gosh dang it! I'm restarting! If we don't find soon, it will not matter. Either he will be taken by the demons, or by less mystical predators. And I've said more than enough on the topic. This is a Templar matter, and we will be handling it. Oh. Well, let's see where this Evelyn, goes. Don't you think this matter concerns the whole city? It does, and you Templars are spread thin to begin with. True. Sadly, there are more mages fleeing than we can easily keep up with. Don't then mind the, the Dalish mage I have with me. I can track the boy. There is a Templar. Four <gasps> by the name of Samson. <gasps> he left the order due to philosophical differences. He did! He's been known to help mages he flee Kirkwall! To help mages flee Kirkwall. If Fainriel went to him, Samson wouldn't tell me. He stays out of sight by day, but I've seen him at night. Near the entrance to Dark Town. Nope, no, mm -mm. nope, nope. We'll be back. <laughs> I'm an idiot. He does seem to have some sort of concern. I don't know. He doesn't seem to hate mages. He's like, I'm sure some are great, but there's this innate danger or something, and, 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 and there is, but. He, but they're just people too, and sometimes they're frightened people, and it's just because, I mean, a kid gets a sword and you startle him, he's gonna maybe ch chop your head off, you know? You startle a mage, you might get a fireball up your butt, like, you know? It's just, but it, it, it's bigger for mages, it's really, it is a bigger deal, but it's still, it's like, ah, uh, like there has to be a happy middle ground somewhere. It's kind of funny to think that we're on the 
other end of the spectrum right now, I guess Magister to Ventures are like, woo, we're so free. But here, like for all or for, we're not for the free marches, I guess. Free marches in Ferelden and Orlay, they're like cracking down on mages, you know. They're like, all right, so we're like the oppressors, you know, and it's interesting. Anyway, we'll be right back. Okay, now we have to leave. Unless there's a way to. Oh, let's poke these guys. Greetings, Messer. There's so many blood mages eh. in Coke. Poke, 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 poke. They do. Poke. This initiation. What is this? I haven't slept for days thing. Who's, what is this over here? were meant to intimidate slaves. Ah! You see ones like them all over the Imperium. I'm sorry to bring you here! Holy crap! <laughs> Who are you? Are you part of a quest? What's this? Oh! No, I can't talk to you, man! <laughs> I can't talk to you while I have Fenris with me! We need to leave! We need to leave! Right now! Whoa. Like that. You have Valacine. The same markings that the Dalish have. Ah! Uh, Yours are not made of lyrium. Are they no, Valisleen? Blood. Our blood. That's what Valisleen means. Blood writing. It's a mark of adulthood. Mine were carved into my flesh against my will. Ah, oh, Meryl! I remember only Don't for talk to him! Caused me. I'm so sorry. Oh, Meryl, she's so sweet. He's not being mean to her, but don't be mean to her. <laughs> okay, where's a place we can... Is it my house? Or maybe we should go visit Fenris in his house? Can I, I can't do that from here. We have so many quests. Uh, the Hanged Man. I did, I did see that there was a, there was a dealie... Uh, in the Hanged Man, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because we were gonna... You could... I'm drinking pop, so I'm, like, burping everywhere now. Gather my party. Okay. Let's bring... Um, okay, remove all. We'll bring Varric, Meryl, and Aveline. I'm pretty sure somebody mentioned in the comments that, um... I think I know who it is, but I'm not going to say just in case, but, uh, uh, I really hope, oh yeah, I think, it, I was just, I was thinking about my inventory just now, I was like, I hope the inventory stuff stayed, but somebody in the comments said that Varric and Meryl have really freaking hilarious banter, so, so we'll do this, <laughs> let's leave, leave now, leave. Let me out. Do I have to press it? Okay, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. All right, up into the gallows. Okay. Oh. What? Oh, right, right. We gotta go. We have that. Um. Uh, should we go chat with Fenris? Can we do that? We haven't seen him in his house yet. Varric is at the hanged man. Oh, everybody's house has a gather your party. Okay. Hello? What? Yeah, you could get rid of the bodies. Oh. Huh. Wow, this is a long one. <gasps> Betrayed by his lover. Uh, let me tell you a sad story, you guys. My really fancy, nice headphones broke. They're well, they're they're broken. I'm using. I'm currently using them, but they are like cracked down, like in a really horrible place and it makes me very sad like I don't know like they look like they're gonna snap off any day it's kind of horrible and they were very expensive oh so he's uh he's sort of Robin Hood but not no just cause it says Mary Chase doesn't mean he's Robin Hood 
Kind of. Robin Hood was technically, well, te technically, he's, you know, legend, but some legends recount him as actually being a lord's son. Hunted by the crows of Antiva. Hmm. Oh. They went to the Arlathan Forest. What Arlathan Forest? There, what was the Brazilian Forest? Uh, the Emerald Graves. Hmm. I think I've read that before, but... Okay. Do I have to... Does he have a, a dealie? Is he, he got, he's got an arrow on his face. Whoa, whoa. That's just the sound of me closing things. Well, it looks like he's cleaned it up a little bit. Imperial Chantry. Yes, yes, that makes sense that you would have that. Uh, okay, no codex entries anywhere else? Does this guy have a... I don't know. It's like black, black wall. You look like you're about to eat my face off! Hello? Agrigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Okay! Marius used to have me pour it for his guests. Oh, I'm sorry! My intimidated them, he said. Which he enjoyed. Okay, um... That just sounds so like, you know, like, he's just saying about something, like, could you imagine doing that and screaming on the inside the whole time, but you can't do anything else? You're just screaming. I, I just picture him screaming on the inside, and it just, it kills me, because that's what I'm, you're like imprisoned in your own mind, and you can't, if you do anything, you'll die, and you don't want it, or worse, you know, there are worse things than death. Ugh. But, and Hawk isn't subtle at all. We'll try. I can't imagine why they would be put off. You say what's on your mind. <laughs> That's what I said! <laughs> don't get drunk, man. I don't know how to take care of you. Now you're angry. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. Um... I don't know what to tell him. I'm just like chilling here, like just trying. I don't know. It is good you can still take pleasure in the small things, but you don't look like you're taking any pleasure from it, you know? You've had a difficult life. I'd rather not speak more of it. Are you certain? I'm willing to listen. <laughs> to my whining? Very charitable of it's you. It's not whining. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. It's marked on your skin. Tell me. Have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? Uh... Well, I don't see why not, you know? Lothering wasn't the only thing there, you know? I grew up in Ferelden. It will always be my home. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? Hmm... Is it better to leave it in the past, or no? I don't know. This music is amazing. Like, I love it. I could just listen to this all day. Cry myself to sleep for no reason, you know? Hmm. I was trying to think what he, it would be good for him. Like, he's trying to forget his past, but it's not necessarily... You, you can't forget it. You have to learn from it, but you don't need to let it control you either. So, but I have a good past, so neglecting that might make him be like, you know, you know, but... I don't know, maybe we should say... Like, I, ha I don't know. I have a new life. Even if I wanted to, Kirkwall is my home now. Having a place where you can put down roots, I understand. Still, to have the option must be gratifying. Hmm. Do you intend to keep living here? 
I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but... Saharan, that's where he's there from. There is no life for me there. Oh, wow. Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Oh. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. Uh, okay. <laughs> You've been on the run a long time then. Three years now. Whoa! Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't yeah. you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Hmm. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. I will not live with the wolf at my back. Huh. You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus. Though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No, it is better to wait for him to leave his fortress. Fight from a fortified position. He's very intelligent. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. Hmm. Hmm. That's a strange way of phrasing things. Ah. Uh. Maybe it's just me, but it sounds like you want to stick around. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. <laughs> I should thank you again for helping me against the hunters. Not that I'm assuming you meant anything yes, by that. Yes, you should. Had I known Anso would find me a woman so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. <laughs> no! <laughs> Shut up! Don't talk to me! <laughs> uh, flatterer. You sound like you're about to ask for a <laughs> Well, this mansion does require some upkeep. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it. Oh, look at him! He smiled! The holy crap! What? Friendship! Oh, we didn't have him fully recruited, but we could still... chat with him. Hey, I just brought everybody. All, they've been waiting outside, you know? Did you step in mud or what, poop? We should move on. Okay. All right then. I guess once everybody gets settled in their house, you got to go talk to them. Which makes sense. Well, that was good. <laughs> I'll practice my flattery. He like gets up and walks over. I was like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? The gallows, the really pleasant place, the really nice place. Okay, nobody's gonna say anything. I've never met a dwarf before. Woo! <laughs> That's because you've spent too much time frolicking in the woods, Daisy. Daisy. Dwarves don't frolic. <laughs> Dalish don't really frolic either. Not in the woods, anyway. You have sanctioned frolicking areas? <laughs> no, just not in the woods. The trees get jealous. Oh. But you do frolic. <laughs> of course we do. We wouldn't be elves otherwise. What? We wouldn't be elves otherwise? What the heck? Uh... <laughs> Are you the Templar who is pursued? I did not. Uh... Perhaps you know. We don't all know. Are you a friend of his? Tell me. Have you? From his yes, hardly yeah. someone you would uh -huh. wish the power to I murder. I want to help him. No, young boy. It is surprising what if we and I have said more than enough on the topic. City guard. It, it was going to bring Aveline. It does. True. Then let the there is a temp. If Fainreal. Samson, we're going to go talk to Samson. Oh, Meryl and Aveline they got plus friendship. Friendship everywhere. Okay, I am going to actually call it here. Right behind you. And uh, I'm gonna save. New save. Okay. Um.
Oh, oh, I don't have. I don't. I was gonna check, I was gonna check everybody's uh, like levels or whatever. But I know uh, Subby said it wasn't too big a deal in the beginning, but I'm glad I at least got further on the friendship route with Fenris. I. <sighs> I mean, rivalry and friend. I mean, rivalry wouldn't be a bad thing. I, I know, and she said that, but it's like, it's more like a respectful. I respect your decisions, even if I don't agree with them, type thing. But I know if you go too far down that route, it's unhappy. You know, at least it seems like it would be. But anyway, well, we'll see. Well, hopefully, we can help out this kid. Um. And get some of the other quests done. I feel like we have so many quests. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like getting all distracted by all of them. But anyway, thank you guys so much for your patience and for watching. Um, let me know if I do need to go back and change something. Obviously, I have a bunch of time on my hands. And I could probably go back. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thanks again. I'll see you guys in the next one.